I'm here with the Department of Media, Culture and Sport at Trafalgar Square to speak with John Penrose, the Minister for Tourism. He's going to be answering a few questions for me on how the tourism strategy is going to play out over the next few years. Hi John, Hi. nice to see you. Um, can you please uh, tell me how important is hospitality and tourism to uh, the recovery of the economy? Oh, very important is the short answer to that. I mean, we were really lucky, I think, to get uh, a speech by the Prime Minister back in, I think it was August, and old hands here in, in DCMS tell me that they think it's the first time in probably living memory that anyone can think of a, an incumbent Prime Minister newly in the job, a new administration, making a speech about tourism in the first hundred days of the new government. And I think that just shows how important it is. And it's not just because David Cameron likes taking British holidays, although he does, which is great. Uh, I want to encourage more people to do that. It's also because he understands that tourism's got a really good um, mechanism for helping economic growth. It's already one of our top five or six economic sectors anyway. But if we're looking for sources of growth to turn the economy around, to pull us out of recession, to help repair the whopping financial deficit which we've, we, which we've inherited, tourism is going to play a really major part in that. It's got great fundamentals about it and that's why he's excited about it. Okay. What would you say has changed since then? Well, we've been working, I've been working and a lot of other people with me have been working on the tourism policy, tourism strategy, call it what you want, uh, but really we're just trying to make sure we've pulled all the different threads of what needs to be done to help the tourism and hospitality industries grow and grow faster. And people in the industry have been really good actually at making the points to me and, and, and saying look it would really help us if we could deal with the problems to do with um, the availability of visas in China where we feel like the, the Britain's at a disadvantage or it would be really helpful if we could deal with some of the problems of getting through passport control at Heathrow um, all the way from big international stuff like that down to some people aren't very happy with the way that the um, star rating system for hotels has been working and lots of helpful suggestions about that too and the industry's really stepped up to the plate they've been brilliant at making sure that they've come to me and I've come to them and we've spent the time basically going through what needs to be done and trying to turn that into a coherent set of policy ideas and that's what I'm hoping to have coming out in the new year. So obviously you know, tourism is very important to um, stabilisation of the British economy but um, what are you doing in particular to try and improve domestic tourism? Well you're absolutely right Look, this is one of the biggest prizes for our tourism industry because um, as a country as a society uh, we're rubbish at uh, all of us, I mean myself included, we're all rubbish at valuing the stuff that's on our own front doorstep. We all go abroad much more than any other nation in, in Europe for our holidays. We stay at home much less than any other nation in Europe. And it's just amazing what we've got in this country and we need to sell it more. We need to sell it to ourselves as well as to people abroad. Um, and therefore there's a huge opportunity for uh, local destination marketing, so telling people what's great about my own hometown of Western Supermare or York or Harrogate or Stratford on Avon, doesn't matter what. We've got to get everybody in those destinations to collect together and promote that destination in a way that's commercially sensible. Um, and one of the things that's really essential is that we make sure that the destination marketing that we're doing is properly commercially driven. It hasn't always been the case in the past. In some cases it, it's been done very, very well, but in some parts of the country it hasn't been. And we need to make sure that, that uh, local firms feel confident that their money and any public money that's part of that local promotional campaign is being spent in the most commercially savvy, smartest way possible so that we're doing that properly. In future what we want to do is to try and launch a series of proper destination management organisations. Now, a lot of those exist in some form or another in different parts of the country already. So really what we want to try and do is to sharpen them up a little bit. In some cases they're great already and, and frankly don't need any changes at all and, and where that's the case we'll keep hands firmly off. But in some cases what we want to do is to make sure that they are much more industry-led. The important thing is that the uh, local tourism firms should have the whip, whip hand in what the local organisation does, what the local tourism board or body, call it what you want, gets up to, how it does its promotions and to make sure that they're happy that if it was just their money being spent on promoting their industry, or th their particular firm, they would regard it as a commercially sensible thing to do. Well, the same thing should be applied, the same discipline should be applied to promoting their local destination 
collectively as well.